Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 21, and this is war number four, and we're going up against an alliance called Orbs. Now we're coming off of three straight wins for the season, and we're hoping to make it four straight wins. We want another win uh, under our belt. So I'm going in here, and I started a little late. I got a little bit busy. Uh, so I was the last one on this side to get in here and who should I have to fight first but an Annihilus now I hate fighting Annihilus it's one of the reasons I ranked up my Annihilus and use him in war he is a very annoying uh, defender but if you have the proper counters or if you just know how to fight him you'll do just fine all right, so if you look here, what I'm trying to do is counter his medium dash, similar to how you do with a domino. Problem is, if he gets any and blurates on you like that right there, he caught me. Now I had to evade and intercept him because if I try to evade with the obliterates on me, he's going to go unstoppable. That's why you see him going unstoppable. And I'm in the corner now. And I'm just like, oh my goodness, I hate Annihilus. This is why I hate him. So I fired that special two off to get out of that corner. Okay, now we have to just bait out that special. And let's recover a little bit. All right, and you see how I intercepted him right there? Uh, that's what you want to do. You don't want to get any obliterate on you. And he'll put an obliterate on you even if he hits into your block. So that's what makes him really annoying. So I messed up a little bit. But one of the reasons that I love Nick Fury is that you have that buff, uh, buffer. Uh, the life model decoy is still out. So the real Nick Fury hasn't even come out yet. So right off the bat, an Annihilus, who is an annoying defender. And then you have Korg. Now, Korg, when he first came out, oh my goodness, I could not solo him. I didn't have any good counters. Havoc wasn't in the game yet. Omega Red wasn't in the game yet. And all I had to fight him was my Corvus. Wasn't a good time. Now, if you know how to fight him doing light intercepts, which I don't do very well, uh, you can fight him with anyone. But that light uh, intercept method, when you mess it up, he's going unstoppable and unblockable. And it'll be like a chain reaction. You'll get into the corner and then you're going to get wrecked. So what I prefer to do when I'm fighting him is to just... Either parry and see if it'll work or try to block early so that he hits into my block. Now, with Omega Red, I don't have to worry about any of that damage back. Okay, so you'll notice that I usually don't try to parry him. Okay, uh, so you see there, I parried him there and you saw how he restored. That's why I don't often do that. But we got his shield down, it's shattered. Uh, but with Omega Red, uh, it's a pretty straightforward and easy fight because of the tentacle attacks and all of that. Just keep your spores on him, fight him just like you would fight most anyone else. Uh, you can try to parry. If his shield is down, you can parry. Him. And I messed up there. Uh, usually, uh, how I punish myself if I uh, mess up with a special one is I then have to evade a special one. So like when I'm in the arena and I mess up and I get hit by Korg's special one, I'll build him to a special one if I can, and then bait it out, even if I could have finished the fight. Okay, but we're in war here. Wasn't risking it. Uh, a lot of shenanigans happen in war, so I was not about to risk losing Omega Red just because I wanted to um, punish myself for messing up on that uh, if, um, special one. All right, so now, uh, since I was uh, the last one in, and I'm looking over here, and there's nothing there that uh, looks like I shouldn't be able to handle it with my champions. Now, uh, my guys are pretty low, except for Warlock, okay? But as you saw, um, the nodes there don't really concern me too much, but the global, that one is what I was worried about. So uh, instead of going in with Warlock, I decided to go in with Nick Fury. And the reason being, he is the best stubborn counter 
that I have. All right. Now, um, I got some advice on this. The reason that I just did that um, medium and then heavy is because I was trying to go for that internal bleed. But there's really no need unless I'm going to be firing off my special one. That's what I was told. And so that simplified how I fight with Nick Fury in war going forward. But for this war, um, I hadn't gotten that advice yet. So uh, basically all I need to do is to do my five hit combo and end in a light attack. That's pretty much it. Okay. Uh, and you can see here, working it. And the real Nick Fury is still not out yet. I gave myself a little bit of a heal, um, but the real Nick Fury is still not out. This is still the life model decoy, so I still have a little bit of a buffer uh, on my Nick Fury. Love Nick Fury. Beast mode, especially for stubborn, which seems like the only defense tactic um, our opponents choose. All right, so down goes Captain America Infinity War. All right, so that was uh, section one. Uh, you can see the middle was cleared. So on to section two, used up all my energy. And uh, when we got back, I uh, believe uh, they had already uh, gotten into that section. Yep, they were already into that section. And so I went ahead and I take path two in section two as well. Uh, sometimes they don't place defenders. This time I had to fight uh, my entire paths. Uh, so now we got to deal with Venom. Now, Venom can be really annoying. He's very aggressive. If he doesn't decide to fire his special off, you're going to have to deal with that special too. Now, as long as it's not unblockable, I usually just block it. It's just safer. But uh, recently, uh, doing the Variant 5 uh, exploration, I got a bit better at evading his special two, uh, because in there, there was a node and he was unblockable uh, with the special two. So if you didn't blood evade it, you were gonna get wrecked. So uh, I got better, but I still don't trust my skills at evading that special two. So I would prefer to block the first part of it, evade the last part of it, uh, to avoid most of that damage. All right, so you can see here I'm going in, boost it up, uh, since we're trying to, you know, maintain that winning streak. So I boost it up. And of course, you know, we're dealing with stubborn yet again and a stubborn defender. I believe uh, he was a stubborn defender. Uh, so that's why I went in with Nick Fury. All right, so again, that heavy like that that I was doing, there's no need for that. Uh, the only reason I was doing that was to uh, get that internal bleed faster. Because the bleeds, when you do your heavy attacks, last longer than the bleeds when you do uh, the medium and the light attacks. Uh, even though that ending light attack does a lot of damage. Alright, so the real Nick Fury is out now. It's on. But now, doing a lot more damage. Now, I fired that off because I was hoping it would finish him off, and it did, because I run suicides. So I don't want to fire a lot of specials. Now, um, what I understand is that that internal bleed uh, will increase the duration of, I, I believe it's your bleed, uh, but after you fire a special one, I haven't looked that up yet, uh, but in any case, my normal style is uh, uh, not to fire a lot of specials, so uh, no need for me to build up to that internal bleed. So you see, Nick Fury is putting in that work because again, they lined my path with stubborn defensive uh, players, uh, defenders. So uh, now, I uh, Invisible Woman can be very difficult to fight, uh, especially if you are not familiar with her mechanics, but. Because she's bleeding, you see how quickly I took her out. Because she was bleeding, even when she goes invisible, it goes away very quickly. All right. So that was actually my entire participation in the war. So we'll be back and we'll find out how we did.
and we're back and as you can see we won this war we are definitely on a winning streak four straight wins for this season so uh hopefully it continues but this is a phenomenal start to the season but that's going to do it guys thank you all for watching click like subscribe leave a comment let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day